What's up you guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Still Spotlight. Today I'm gonna to be doing probably a lot of rambling if we're being honest because I do find it hard to kind of sort through the information in a chronological order. But the topic we are trying to talk about today is gonna to be how to build and even rebuild your dream wardrobe and kind of finding your personal style as you go along, I suppose. Um, and today we have literally the perfect video sponsor if you are rebuilding your wardrobe, which is ShopTagger. If you guys haven't heard me talk about them before, ShopTagger is an app and a Chrome extension, which has become an absolute must have whenever I'm online shopping because it ensures that I never miss out on any price changes or discount codes, as well as just helping me to shop smarter in general. You guys may recognize this shirt. I've worn it a ton over the last few months and I actually picked this one out after adding a bunch of different white button ups to one shop tagger list. And then via process of elimination, I picked out this one and then to my surprise, when I got to the checkout, I was also graced with a nice little coupon code. You can click the link in the description to try it for yourself. It is free and ridiculously easy to download. And then once you've done that, whenever you're online shopping and see something you like, you'll be able to click the little shop tagger button and voila, add it to your designated wish list. You can completely customize these categories as specific as you like. Personally, I think the more specific, the better, especially if you're looking at cutting down on that impulse shopping and really making more mindful decisions. Once they're saved there, ShopTagger can send you notifications via mobile push or email whenever an item goes on sale, there's relevant discount codes, or if something's come back in stock. And like I mentioned earlier with that shirt I purchased, once you're actually on the checkout page on the Chrome extension, with one click of a button, they will quickly scan the internet for the best available coupon codes and automatically apply it for you. And they're trying to save you even more money these days with their recently launched cashback feature. So you can now earn cash via PayPal when you're shopping at selected retail stores. So yeah, definitely give it a go on your phone and your computer, especially this time of year, there's gonna be so many holiday and new year deals coming up, so you don't wanna miss out. You can check it all out via the link down below in the description box. It feels kind of silly saying it, but obviously one of the first steps is gonna be just figuring out what styles you actually like. And one of the easiest ways to do so is having a Pinterest board, or you can use save folders on Instagram if that works better for you. And I will admit I am that chaotic mess that doesn't have folders separated for anything. Like my computer would be a very, very scary sight for a lot of people. But hear me out, in this case, I literally think it is better just to dump it all in one place. You don't want to be going into it already, kind of labeling it and limiting yourself. I think it's best just to go with the flow, whatever you're kind of vibing with, dump it in there. And then once you've got a good amount going, you can kind of sift through and see what key themes are starting to take place. It can also be helpful to pick out some style icons. And these don't just have to be celebrities. It could also be um, certain brands or even magazines magazines that you always find yourself turning to. And really this whole initial stage is just asking yourself super basic questions, but then kind of analyzing the answers. So once you've picked these out, kind of compare, is there any common similarities, certain pieces that are popping up amongst all of them? This might give you an idea of what pieces would be good basics to invest in for your wardrobe. And also might just get you thinking about keywords that will come in handy when you're searching for these desired styles. It's also cool to take into consideration some of your hobbies or interests that way I find it's a little bit more fun getting dressed in the morning because it's like an instant little boost and reminder of things that you love and in a small way you're able to outwardly share those things that you enjoy with the rest of the world. I hate to bring down the mood but you do have to be somewhat realistic about things as well so thinking about your location for example what is the temperature like there because unfortunately here it doesn't really get cooler than like hoodies sweatshirt weather so investing in some statement coats and jackets probably isn't gonna be the best bet. Same thing goes for your lifestyle. Are you someone who's gonna to have to incorporate more corporate and workwear into your wardrobe? Are you someone who gets to attend fancy sort of events or are you a total homebody? Also realistically, we're not gonna be able to just throw everything in our wardrobe out and buy a new one overnight. I did wanna kind of do a disclaimer that obviously I have an excessive amount of clothes Please do keep in mind that A, this is my job and B, 
I've been collecting these for years and years and years and obviously am now in a position where I'm lucky enough to be gifted items sometimes as well but honestly you do not need to have a big wardrobe to be stylish one does not equal the other by any means so I have done some like capsule wardrobe ideas if those are helpful let me know I can definitely keep filming some more but for sure play around with what you already have in your wardrobe first what items are your most worn your most loved and I know sometimes we can feel like we're in a bit of a rut with our own wardrobe but do try to keep an open mind because sometimes a piece that you're really really over all you need is a new idea on how to style it rather than buying a brand new piece so this could be mixing and matching different styles trying out new ways of layering pieces or even upcycling if you're feeling a little bit crafty if you are looking at adding more pieces though then there's obviously a few different avenues you can take for me when I was first starting to build up my wardrobe my savior was thrifting or op shopping whatever you call it in your neck of the woods but it was one of the only places that I could afford and comparatively to the other places I could afford I found a lot better quality items that were also unique there it definitely forced me to get outside my comfort zone and be a little bit more experimental and creative creative with my outfit ideas because obviously it's not all laid out perfectly for you with like what's on the mannequin or what the online model's wearing. Again, depending on where you live, this might not be an easily accessible starting point, but you can try secondhand shopping through other means as well, whether it's apps like Depop, I know they've gotten pretty out of hand with their prices recently, unfortunately, but I think there's other similar apps, especially if you live in the US or Canada. Um, unfortunately, they haven't really come to Australia yet, but you can also try places that aren't as like aesthetic, such as eBay and Facebook Marketplace. This sweater vest I actually got from Facebook Marketplace like three years ago for eight or nine dollars. and. And that's what started this for me and I never turned back. Of course, there's always retail options as well. And I think once you've kind of picked out some key words from the earlier mood boards, it does make it easier to link them up to key brands as well. And even if you're not looking to shop from them right now, it is a good idea to kind of get some inspiration on how to style things or even ideas to DIY. When it comes to the actual items you're shopping for, I have three categories that I kind of like to build a strong foundation with. And that way, even as things come and go, if you've really nailed these three, then you should have a pretty easy to work with and manage wardrobe as as the years go on. Obviously the first one's gonna be basics, but even when it comes to basics, I feel like these can still differ greatly depending on the person. You know, you wanna look at what silhouettes suit your body type, what textures you prefer. The weather where you are is gonna come back into play here too. For me, these are the go-to pieces that you're gonna see in pretty much every video, things like turtlenecks, pleated skirts and wide leg jeans. The second category for me is versatile pieces. And honestly, some of these might just fall under your basic items. But if you are someone who doesn't like to stick to just one aesthetic, you're a little bit all over the place. I think that this is one of the most important categories because these are like link items that you can kind of make work for different styles you wanna try out. A good example of this is something like blazers. You could use your simple blazer for your weekly workwear wardrobe. You could also transition it into a model of duty style, something a little bit more preppy and even turn it into something with a more street style, almost tech wear sort of aesthetic. The other category that's become really important to me especially if you're looking to develop more of a personal style is signature pieces and I will say this isn't something I would recommend kind of trying to build up from the very beginning it's almost something that you will develop naturally and you just need to kind of take note of as you go this is the sort of thing again if you're someone who likes to try and dabble in a lot of different styles that will just be able to center and ground it back to still being a look true to you and i find that the easiest way to pull this off is actually through accessories for example the harness that I am wearing now, I will throw this bad boy on with practically anything and I have done for the last two or three years. So even though it's obviously not a piece that's unique to me, just through the sheer amount of times I continue to wear it, suddenly it's something that people kind of associate you with. I also think shoes can be a really good one, also a practical one because most people usually only have a couple of different shoe options so they kind of become a signature by default. For me it's these damn Winsor Smith platforms that I have worn consistently again for like two and a half to three years I guess 
that is just when I found my personal style finally. Also my cowboy boots though, especially this time of year here in Australia, we're actually just getting into summer now and it's already quite hot. Um, I can't do my usual layers. So I find myself throwing on little simple summer dresses a lot and it doesn't quite feel like me, but usually if I either team a harness or my cowboy boots, then I feel a little bit better about it. Your signature still could be a clothing item though. For a while, one of mine definitely felt like vests. Kind of not so much anymore now that they are so widespread popular, but it could also be a particular color or color palette that you work into your wardrobe. Or you could even take this across to beauty with a particular hairstyle, a lip color, or even like a signature fragrance. I know what we just spoke about had more of an emphasis on personal style, but I did want to make it clear that I think there is nothing wrong with the good old copy and paste, especially when you're first starting out. I think it's actually a really good way to kind of learn how to pair outfits together it's like a quick little cheat sheet to just see something that you love and then replicate it pretty much exactly and after doing that for a while you kind of start to get your own creative juices flowing and you'll be like okay well I could substitute that for this or I could kind of take it in this direction instead and then by the end of it you're taking inspiration from things and look nothing like the original image but you know that that's what sparked the original idea. I don't know if that's actually making any sense now that I'm hearing it come out of my mouth but hopefully you get what I mean. I think a great example of it is actually just the previous video I uploaded the Monster High lookbook. My outfits didn't look anything similar to the original designs yet they still had this similar sort of vibe and once upon a time I definitely would have tried my hardest to get the exact same pieces but after time and time again doing that I've built up this confidence in just being able to kind of trust my instincts and style things myself but yeah I just wanted to stress that that definitely doesn't come overnight and it's totally fine to start with the good old copy and paste also just a quick touch on confidence that's obviously another thing that doesn't magically appear overnight. Um, I am actually extraordinarily shy in real life. Um, I am incredibly insecure about my personality and I think that over the years I developed this kind of defense mechanism with what I wore because it meant that I didn't have to use my words to express myself as much but it definitely wasn't always the case um once upon a time I definitely felt like I had to kind of change my style to fit in with whoever I was going to be seeing that day but honestly after a while of doing that you always develop a bit of imposter syndrome and you find that it's actually just a weight off your shoulders to be more yourself. Obviously easier said than done especially for me you know I'm not in school and when I did go to school Thankfully, we wore school uniforms. Honestly, safe place here on my channel. I am just always encouraging you guys to dress however you want. Um, and hopefully one day we can kind of all get to that point. But I don't know, I don't wanna push you too soon because I know that it is hard. So don't be too harsh on yourself if you're like, oh, I'm not to that point yet. That's okay, take it easy. Anyways, I feel like I have probably babbled on for long enough now. Um, hopefully these were just a few good pointers to start out or little reminders more so, I guess, for when it comes to building your wardrobe and finding your style. I know I've done something similar to this in the past, but I thought it'd be nice to do a little bit of an updated version. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these like fashion focus, like... I don't know, are they somewhat informative rather than just like the fun character lookbooks all the time? And also um, I want to do one that's like trying out different aesthetics slash styles. So if you guys have any things that you would love to see me in that are more outside my comfort zone, then let me know in the comments as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.